Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this is a very quick unscheduled vid before I return from my YouTube hiatus. We just got another trailer for Avengers Infinity War so of course I have to film my reaction to it. You guys loved the first one that I did when we got the first trailer so I'm doing it again now and it's quite crazy because I literally just bought tickets to see Avengers Infinity War in the BFI IMAX cinema in London and then they released the trailer so it's all happening today but yeah let's just go ahead and watch it. Gamora. Oh, to Matt and Bruce get reunited. Universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Oh, they actually said his name. Whoa. Oh, Peter. Oh my God. He's coming to us. Whoa. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. Yeah, our Wakanda. Shuri! Oh my god! Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, <gasps> except it sucks. So let me do the plan. <gasps> Pisha! I'm really Spider Sue. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at Steve, Bucky, Hulkbuster's back. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Oh my god, is that like a flashback to Baby Gamora? Loki! With Thanos. Oh, oh god, okay. <laughs> Perfectly bound. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. No. No. <laughs> I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. <gasps> oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. <laughs> You know, I didn't think the trailer would make me cry again because I've already cried at the first one. So I didn't think I'd cry, but they gave us so much new footage in that, including Steve going against Thanos, like actually Thanos, Steve. Oh God. <laughs> Captain America is my all time favorite Avenger and he's also the one most likely to die in Infinity War, just in case you're wondering why I'm like this because that scene of him and Thanos. Oh God, he's gonna die. <laughs> Do you know who my other favorite Marvel character is? Loki. Do you know who also is most likely to die in Infinity War? Loki. I'm not looking forward to this film because all my faves are gonna die. Okay, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, all I can think of is that scene of Steve and Thanos and that's probably gonna be when he dies and I'm actually not ready. We got so much new content of Parker, of Peter Parker as Spider-Man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looked good. And we also got to see like the Guardians interacting with the Avengers, like Tony and Star-Lord talking. That looked awesome. We got Pete meeting Doctor Strange. It's gonna be so good. And we got Shuri. And that is an accurate representation of what is gonna happen in the Infinity War film. Oh God, oh God, Spider-Man's going now, Spider-Man's going. We got a clip of Shuri. Oh my goodness. I haven't done a review of Black Panther yet. I will... There will be one going on my channel, but I have seen the film. Jury is my all-time fave. I love her so much, and I absolutely, I completely freaked out when we got that still of her in Infinity War. But the fact that we've now got her in the trailer, I am like, the only thing I am that's got me excited for this film is the fact that we're getting new Jury content. It's got me so hyped, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that all my faves are gonna die because we're getting new Jury content. There was a clip of Loki with Thanos and like the dudes that work for him. I can't remember their names don't judge me. Thanos had the Tesseract so Loki straight up gives him the Tesseract doesn't he because Loki steals it after Thor Ragnarok. We've only ever gotten clips of 
Loki in that one setting. So I think he's going to be in the one scene and then that's it. Because I reckon he stole the Tesseract in Thor Ragnarok. He's going to go to Thanos. He's going to give Thanos the Tesseract. And then Thanos is going to kill him. Because he has no more need for him now. He's so going to kill Loki. So Loki is definitely going to die. Steve's definitely going to die. God knows who else is going to die. I'm trying to think. Was Hawkeye in that trailer? I think that's yet another trailer he wasn't in because I don't remember seeing him. So yeah, Hawkeye's probably going to die because I mean they're treating him like he's already dead because he isn't in any of the trailers. He's not even in the poster. Like I got the Infinity War poster. He's not on the poster. So I have a feeling Hawkeye might die. It comes out next month. I'm not seeing it until May because I've booked tickets to see it at the BFI IMAX cinema in London. It's the biggest cinema screen in the country in IMAX 3D and I'm seeing it on May the 5th because I'm in London on May the 4th and 5th to see Dan and Phil's tour so I'm just gonna go and see it on the Saturday then. The first time I see Infinity War will be in IMAX 3D that is gonna be insane. I mean I probably won't be able to see much because I'll be crying so much it will block my 3D glasses and I just won't be able to see the film but it's gonna be crazy. So that was the new trailer. That was crazy. I'm not ready. I can't- oh god Steve's gonna go against Thanos by himself. Steve's gonna go against Thanos by himself. That's all I can think of. We know he's gonna die. Steve's definitely going to be the one who dies and the fact that he goes against Thanos. By the end of Avengers 4, most of the original six Avengers will be gone and I don't know. I don't know how to take that information because it was the first Avengers film that got me into Marvel in the first place. The past seven years of my life, they have been my favourite fictional characters and now they're all going to die and I don't know how to feel. But the thing is, anyone could die in this film. Just they might not be permanent deaths. We could literally see all of them die except Doctor Strange and then he changes time and brings most of them back all of them back. That's my reaction to the new Avengers Infinity War trailer. It comes out next month. I've got tickets to see it in IMAX 3D. It's happening. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am so sorry for being such an emotional wreck of a fangirl, honestly. I don't like crying in my react vids, but it just happens. It was that goddamn scene with Steve and Thanos. I still can't I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this film. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will be returning turning from my YouTube hiatus on March the 19th with weekly videos and I will be doing Black Panther review as well as a Spider-Man Homecoming and the Ragnarok review even though they're just a tad bit late but they will be going on my channel in the next few weeks. So yeah subscribe to get notified about that and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!